We are increasingly embracing technology and working from home, but this can play havoc with your routine. There are ways, however, to ensure that your remote working pattern is still a healthy one. Nutrition. A common complaint for those that work from home is that they're constantly snacking. Now for some, snacking is important, it helps keep hunger at bay and keeps them focused, but for many, snacking is just a matter of self-comfort and boredom, really. I would suggest ensuring that you maintain your usual lunchtime pattern and set meal times, as you would do at work. I'd also suggest avoid mindlessly eating. So just because you have a TV room at home doesn't mean you need to eat there. So sit and appreciate each bite that's going into your mouth. There is evidence to suggest that it helps reduce appetite, but also helps you enjoy your food. If you do need to snack, and that's okay, just ensure that they're healthier snacks. Try and think of things that are high in protein, fiber, and healthy fats, because they're likely to keep you fuller for longer. Think things like nuts, guacamole, even a little bit of dark chocolate's not bad for you. With your kitchen only being a few steps away, it's probably very easy to also overdo it on the caffeine front. It's recommended that you don't really drink more than three to 400 milligrams of caffeine each day. That equates to around four cups of coffee. But if you're struggling to sleep, I'd say try and limit that to one. Sleep. It's tempting just to lie in in the mornings when you know that you don't have a manager looking over your shoulder. But it's still important to maintain a good sleep routine. So still get those seven to eight hours of sleep a day and set an alarm for your mornings. I'd also suggest avoiding white light at nighttime. So that's the type of bright light that's emitted from your mobile, your laptop or your tablet. And that's because it gives your brain the wrong cue that it's actually daytime and stimulates it further. That can play havoc with your circadian rhythm. Some people have the option of night mode on their devices, and that may help, but I would suggest avoid watching anything too stimulating, and certainly avoid doing any work in the evenings. Just because you're working from home, it doesn't mean you should not observe the times that you would normally have finished work. Physical activity. It can be very tempting just to slouch back on your sofa during your lunch break or after work. But if ordinarily you would have gone to the gym, for example, in your lunch break, or your commute would have included a walk or a cycle, I would really recommend ensuring that you still get that physical activity that you would have otherwise. I would certainly recommend getting outdoors for your exercise if you can, as we know that nature supports our mental health. But if you can't, and indoors it is, that's okay, there are plenty of fitness gurus out there that have got online resources that you can use for at home. Public Health England suggests that you do 150 minutes of exercise every week. That can come down to 75 minutes if it's more vigorous exercise. If you can't exercise that day, don't stress, but do remember to take regular breaks. Get up, stretch your legs, rehydrate. It helps improve productivity and concentration. Set up a workstation. It may be difficult to get a workstation as ideal as the one as you had in the office, but do think about investing in an ergonomic chair and desk to make sure that you don't get any aches and pains and that your posture is appropriate. Whilst natural light is preferable, and therefore sitting in front of a window would be ideal. For some, that's not possible. And if that's the case, do ensure you have adequate lighting that helps to avoid eye strain, headaches, and will help keep you alert. Kids at home. It can be difficult if you're working from home and your children are also there. But do remember that children are very used to routines at school. So try and maintain that routine in the home place. It doesn't have to be a particularly sophisticated schedule, but they just need to know when it's work time, play time, and food time. There are lots of TV programs and computer programs out there that now mix a little bit of 
playtime and education together that might help them keep focused for longer. If possible, also have an area that's your designated office. Ideally, it would be your own room, but where that's not possible, have an area that's yours so that the children know that when you're in that area, that means you're working and you cannot be disturbed. If you're a two-parent family, take advantage of this and tag team it, ensuring that you have equal responsibility. Mm -hmm.